Oh no, welcome back to the Juventus career mode and it's me, your Dan, back again. And um, to start off the episode, we've had a bit of a, uh, we've had a transfer offer. And to show you what transfer offer that is, um, yeah, <laughs> I can guess who, you can, you can kind of guess who it is. Well, it says Gonzalo Higuain and you can kind of guess who's it from. So let's have a look. Um, I already know what it is, so I'm going to quickly do the press conference as we've got Florentina in the Copa Nacional, which we will do. But there we go, 106.7 million for Higuain, 30-year-old Higuain. Re re remind you of that, 30-year-old Higuain. I'm not. I, I mean, that's an offer. I just can't. I mean, <laughs> I can't. I can't. I can't reject it it's 106 million do you know what i mean guys uh, we could pretty much go out and buy griezmann for that i mean we've got 100 we've got 12 million left but we could pretty much go and buy griezmann and if you think about it that's not a bad idea to have griezmann and dabala in the same team I know I'm going to get a load of flack from this, but I'm actually really interested to sell Higuain. I know he's 30, but he's dro he dropped in overall. I mean, let's see. I'm going to quickly see how much we can get. Um, how much... I'm going to see how much Griezmann is. Because Griezmann... If we can get Griezmann f for a replacement... That won't be too bad. I know he's 88, but he will grow up to like a... I don't know. We could put Dybala there and then just... Or we could have Griezmann and the Dybala like in a... Like a 4-4-2. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? I'm, I'm not too sure what to do, guys. <laughs> I'm a bit stuck at the moment. Um, see, I want to... I want to keep... I want to keep Higuain as well, but... That's such... That's such... That is... That's a, such a hard offer. I mean, who else could we buy? We could buy... Um, Aubameyang went to Real Madrid as well, if, I believe. Um, I was thinking about getting Aubameyang. Aubameyang? Aubameyang. He's 28. I think he went to Real Madrid. Oh, no, he didn't. Who? Wait. Aubameyang to Real Madrid. What? what? Who was I thinking of? I don't know. Aubameyang. I don't know, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We could get Griezmann. We could get anyone. We could probably get Ronaldo. Uh, let's have a look at Ronaldo. I know he's 32, but... We could probably... Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> but... Jesus. <laughs> um, I'm not too sure what to do here, guys. Because it's Real Madrid. Um, who, who's Real Madrid? It's Benzema, isn't it? Um, I mean, we could have a look at Belotti. Belotti is 84... Uh, no, I'd rather not get Blotti because I'd rather have a world-class striker. Um, Suarez, we could get... Uh, should we try and get Suarez? Suarez is 92. But he's still... He's just like the same age, isn't he? 30. Luis Suarez, 83 million. Yeah, we won't be able to get him. 450k. <laughs> um, but Griezmann. Griezmann to Juventus. I mean, it's not a bad idea, guys. <laughs> A bit, a bit of a pickle here, guys. I'm not, I'm not too sure what to do. Um, I'm not too sure because I'm, I'm not. I mean, we could pretty much get like, as you can see here, if you go to transfers, we could pretty much get like 132 million for him. We should, so we could, we should get 130 million for him, and that is enough to get Griezmann because uh, you can pretty much get Griezmann for like 90 million, 90. 5 million or 100 million and we then we still have like 30 million for next season as well so i mean it's not a bad idea but it depends would you guys hate me for it or would you guys i'm not too sure what to do guys <laughs> do you know what let's just go for it let's just see what they're offer right let's let's go to negotiate Let's see what they're offer. If they want, I'm going to put a price down of 130 million. 
If they don't, well, let's try 120 million. If they accept that, 120. Wait, let's do 125. If they accept that, I'm going for Griezmann. If they don't, I won't get Griezmann. So here we go. Submit offer. 125 million. I mean, he's our main goal scorer. 106 million. Yeah, 106 million for. Yeah, how much is willing to pay? I mean, I could go lower to 120 million. I'll try 120 million. If they don't accept that, I'm I'm just I'm keeping him. I know. I, <laughs> I'm thinking of the dream, the dream of Griezmann and Dybala. I really want it now. 120 million. Five million less. Will they accept that? Let's see. No, financial. I'm sorry, I want Higuain. But this is as much as we're willing to pay. 106 million. I mean, that'll give us 118 million. But we still need to pay for um, Higuain's. We still need to pay for Griezmann's contract as well. I mean, I'm not too sure what to do, guys. 106 million. I mean, should we try 110? I mean, they pretty much will probably get give me 110 at that minute, but I'm not, I don't know. Let's stall for now. I think, yeah, okay, I'm going to stall, play that, I'm going to play the next game. I'm going to stall for now. I'm going to keep the message, stall for now, play the next game, and I'll think about it in the game, but that is, is such a good offer for Higuain. I mean, we probably won't get a better offer for one of our players. I mean, all right, we could get like a hundred, at least hundred million for Dybala, but that Dybala Griezmann, that is so, <laughs> that is so. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say uh, really. But uh, yeah. But anyway, this episode we're going to try and get Kiev. Uh, we're going to try and play the Fiorentina Kiev game. So let's uh, play against uh, Fiorentina. We might have to go with the second team as well. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, we're going to have to go with the second team because of the uh, fitness of the first team. So let's play match then, shall we? Quadrado back to Costa. Costa should score. And there we go. That's 1 0. Great link up play from the two wingers. Great goal for Costa. I'm, I think I'm actually going to agree with you guys. I think we will buy Costa. At the end of the season, um, well, in the summer, especially having those two on the bench, you know, anything can happen. And there you go; it just shows you Quadrado and Diego Douglas Costa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, one nil. Douglas Costa scores. Oh, great play again. It's Quadrado. Quadrado all the way. Oh, unlucky. Still should have scored. What the hell are they doing? Right, cleared. Nil nil. Still one nil, sorry. Costa to Marquezio to Maya to Mansukic. He makes it to great team. Great team goal. Pass, pass, pass to Mansukic. Obviously, who's got space and time. Takes it first time. Great goal. Literally, great goal. Look at this. Bang, bang, bang. Great finish. Right, it's a 2 nil. Yeah, great finish. Right, 2 nil. Oh, good through ball to Costa. Costa crosses it in. Oh, great punch. Should score. Oh, my God. What a chance to make it three. And I think that was Marchisio with a chance. What a chance. Oh no, it's a corner actually. Sorry. Okay, Douglas Costa with a corner. Header down. How it is? Oh, unlucky. And there we go. There's full time. And we've beaten Florentina 2 0 in the end. Those first two goals in the first half pretty much done the game. Uh, Marquiso celebrating there, the captain for the second team. But yeah, good win for us. Um, pretty much uh, second half. Florentina had most of the ball and you know, we probably expect there would have been quite a lot of um, quite a lot of uh, 
saves. But uh, yeah, so let's have a look at the uh, um, highlights. So Sport Yellow made a good save here. Uh, well, he made a punch save, and then obviously Mark Tidio had a chance there, but should have made it three. It was a great save uh, from Sport Yellow. Chesney made a couple of saves. Uh, this one from. I'm not too sure, but he made a good save against that player, the uh, Florentina midfielder slash striker, whoever it is. And uh, they had a chance here against Keza. Great chance here. Just went past, but that was pretty much their chances. So let's have a look at the um, match. Yes, yeah, match facts. Uh, there you can see five shots, three on target. Then we had, they had three shots, one on target. So there we go. That is that. So after thinking winning that game, I was thinking about obviously uh, the Higuain situation and I'm going to go for it guys. Uh, I know I'm going to get a bit of stick from it but I just, I just can't turn it down. If I can get, I'm going to try. Right. Uh, low enough for, for Marco Bajaka. Yep, that's what we wanted to do. Um, Oh, we got two. One year from Wolverhampton or Spurs. So let's do the Wolverhampton one. There we go. So Wolverhampton are getting a good player. Um, yeah. So I'm going to try and get 100. I'm, I'm looking to carry out the negotiation. Yeah. Let's negotiate. I'm going to see if they'll do 110 million. If they will do 110 million, I'll accept it, obviously. But if they don't, then I'm going to keep him. 110 million is my lowest price for Higuain so if they want him they're gonna have to give him give us the money 110 million that gives us enough money for um for Griezmann for his replacement no it yeah so they still want 106 million so do I do it guys <laughs> I mean it's such a load of money but I don't know how much I'm gonna get Higuain uh, I don't know how much. See, this is, if we can acquire for Griezmann, I would. This is what the only thing I miss about the uh, the uh, old transfer system that you could acquire for the players, but it's such a high offer for a 30-year-old as well, 18, 89. When I can pretty much get you know use this money to go and buy Griezmann for at least a hundred million, at least you know, and save and save myself six million. I'm going to go 108. 108. Will they do that? If not, I'm just going to keep him. 108. Let's skip it. 106, yeah. That is... There... Dan is... I want to do it, but I, I can't because... We've got... Say we buy... Say we, say we get given it at least 100 million. That gives us, I don't know, about... Let's accept it. Fine. Let's accept it. Right. We're, we're going to accept it. And we'll just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. Because they, right, they might break down in um, talks and stuff like that. So, obviously, match rescheduled. But Higuain, it looks like he's going. That's uh, I don't know why I've just done that. I literally don't know why I've just done that. So, look, if, I don't know, I don't know, it's such a hard, such a hard thing to do. And I know you guys will probably moan at me, but I just want to get this Higuain situation done. So I'm just going to sim this last match for, um, I'm going to sim this last match against Kievo uh, for Higuain's probably last match for uh, Juventus. But I just want to get this Griezmann uh, thing done and dusted. So, a yellow card for Sandro. Um, my door's going crazy. I should have shut it. Sorry, guys. I've got my window open. It's making the door, like, clack. Like, hit. Uh, right, so no goals yet. My own Madzukic has come on. Can we get a goal? Oh, my God. We've lost. <laughs> Castro has scored for Kievo, and we have lost in Higuain's probably last match. Oh, my days. We have lost against Kievo. <laughs> That's bad signs for me. Right. Here we go. Right. Ah, oh, see, look. I knew this would happen. Higuain has broken down and he could not reach an agreement. Oh, my days. I knew that was going to happen. I even said, I bet it, like, breaks down. 
Oh my days. What a transfer window we are having. Oh my days. <laughs> so we was lost. So we lost. We was uh, losing Higuain. And now it looks like we're keeping Higuain. Oh my days. A roller coaster window we're definitely having. Bentacore is now up to an 80, uh, 79. Oh my days, guys. Literally, oh my days. So, do you know what? Just to finish off the episode, we might as well just advance to the uh, window. Last day of the window. I can't believe that's just happened. So, Pajaka has been loaned out, which we kind of wanted anyway. Wow, Roma have signed uh, Rashford. That is very surprising. I would have thought... Um, I would have thought Man United would have kept him, but Rashford has gone to Roma, of all things. For 44 million, that's quite cheap as well. Right, so let's do the last um, last day of the transfer window. So 55, 59 million already. Corona has gotten to uh, PSG. Got a transfer offer, loan offer from Matteo 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 De Siglio from uh, I have no idea. It's as Leganes, I think. But we're going to just reject that. Um, we reject it and block it because I want to keep him. Because he's we've only got two left backs. So um, advance again. See what happens. I can't believe what a roller coaster of an episode. We've gone. <laughs> we accepted the Higuain offer to go and buy in Griezmann, and it looks like it has just dispersed, and it just looks like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know Higuain won't be happy, but. And we lost to Kievo, but oh my days. Oh my days. I can't believe after all that we're going to keep him. <laughs> wow. Uh, I know I'm going to get a few dislikes from it, dislikes on this video, but wow. What a transfer window we have had. What a transfer window we have had. And with that, I'm actually going to end it here, guys. So look forward to the next episode, which we will be playing against... Um, Sassuolo and Florentino again so look forward to that and after that we've got Atlanta and Benfica in the round of 16 and Sam Dory as well in the semi-finals of the Copa Nacional so look forward to that guys so anyway so please like comment and subscribe and I shall see you guys next time so right I'm going bye